Right here, stay, see him. Right here. <laughs> hey, hey, that was awesome. Good job, bro. Good job. I, I, I he hit him just a little high. I had to shoot pretty quick. Thank you, bro. Good job, man. Thank you. Sweet. Man, man. that's a long shot. Did, did you need me to bring him in a little quick? Dude, I thought he was going, I didn't know the wind was going this way. How many times that never happens? He's a nice bull. He was right there when and I couldn't, I didn't have nothing to draw and I couldn't tell if he was a shooter. And then by the time he cut, he was dead on, there wasn't nothing to draw. And I said, well, I got to I saw him spin and I, I hit him with a cow call. And it's just, he just didn't know what was going on, did he? No, he and didn't. You, just, you were perfect. But, but, but you know, and, and then when you stopped him, like I had to shoot pretty quick yeah. and he was kind of moving, but I hit him just a little high. Yeah. So close, I just put a pin on him and shot him. him. Yeah, spying him right there. <laughs> <laughs> he goes in the back of the truck. Yeah, what See La Vista, baby. I wonder if old Pop's having luck. There's another bull coming screaming right here too. We did it, we did it. I hate, I hate when that old parking ticket gets on like that on the spine, yeah. but he's there. Like I said, I, I, I shot quick. I, I, yeah, it was a close shot. I mean, let's go check him out. <laughs> did you see him finish good? He, he bugled right in your face, didn't he? <laughs> That's the first elk I've ever spined. I went ahead and just put another one right up in him good like that. Oh, he's nice. A little, got a lot of character to him. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, just a little, he just a little high. Oh yeah, solid, nice 290, 300 bull. That was awesome. That was just absolutely awesome. He just come right up in here. These bulls work so good. Yeah, I could see him. Steve couldn't see him real good because he could hear him bugling. He was coming. I could see the see his feet and his whole body. And I could tell his things. He's, and I saw this and I said, I don't know if I'm gonna shoot him because he had small sixes. But I saw his fronts. And he got saw fronts. And I said to myself, I said, if he had bugle and come in here right, I'm gonna tighten him up, you know. And so we tighten him up, man. Elk hunting, man. This is a Western cultural that, man, if you've never experienced elk in the Western mountains, God, it's 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 a dreamy atmosphere. And when these jokers are bugling like big beasts coming up through here looking for love, I mean, it's all you can do to keep your nerves down. And and like even that, I mean, I I I, I got got in a hurry. He come in there quick. I had to draw and open. And I had to pretty much shoot quick. The thing about it, I, I did not aim long. It was like I just pulled it down on him and shot and didn't concentrate probably like I should have. It was like a recurve shot. It was about like a recurve shot. <laughs> Look at this. Wallow down below. And when I saw that wall and bugle, I said, yeah. that's got, they got to like this a little yeah. bit. No, this is good. Good job. Thank you, pal. Nice job. Thanks, man. Good job. It was fun, dude. Yeah, it was fun. That's right. Help yeah. hunting in Colorado. All day. That's right. right. If Daddy didn't get one in the morning, we can team back up with him and yeah. at least be there. We'll yeah. set up on the mountains yeah, and watch. Absolutely. Another morning. This will be our seventh morning. We chased him out here on the Bobcat. So, man, we just need a little break. It's been awesome. It's been beautiful. We just have not had a big mature bull in range. We've had him skirt us. We've had him at 60. We've had him at 70. Just out of, just out of range, but I got a good feeling about this morning. That one that bugle pretty hard right here in the bottom.
he's not a real monster. He just smoked, damn boy. Finally, the last day, that's seven days. And we got elk meat now. We got elk meat now. He come hard to a call, just a bugling and a crazy. This is awesome, man. He didn't go far. This is, this is awesome, man. This is our seventh day out here in New Mexico. And this is so unbelievable. My dad's coming in Saturday. We hunted hard and we was on some big bulls here. We run out of time. Last year I shot a real nice bull in Kentucky. And uh, man, we've eaten on that joker. And now I got another one to put in the freezer, baby. Finally, after seven days of getting after it, man, we stuck one and he come in perfect. I mean, a classic screaming hunt. Man, this is awesome. And I'm tickled with him. Like I said, definitely not the biggest bull I ever shot, but I can tell you right now, he's gonna be one of the best tasting bulls I ever shot. I just like being out here, man. It ain't always about how big a bull, it's about the experience and having the chance and just come to full draw and see that good arrow. Isaac, we got after it hard, buddy. Seven oh, days seven of churning it, man. He's pretty good. I can't tell if he's up on that next flat up there. It's a misty, nasty, rainy day, boy. It's crazy. We was in here two years ago. My dad got a nice bull with a muzzleloader. I got one with a rifle. And then last year, the hardcore guys come in here and just Kevin and Chris knocked down two monsters. Let's get right here to the snake ridge. I hadn't heard him.
smoked him. Smoked him, baby. Smoked him. Hey, watch him. Watch him. Watch him. He's pumping. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh my God. We just put him to sleep. We just put him to sleep. We put him to sleep. How far was that? 45. Yeah. Thank you. He was cording too a little bit and I, I had to come off that shoulder just to grunt. Uh-uh, it's his horns are so big, he's got his head kicked up. Last minute, we decided we called him out here. He didn't sit separated from his cows. We set up up there. There's so much can go wrong, so we ended up, Jason Heathcote and I, we just took off running, literally, on a mad dash. 150 yards, I'm not used to this altitude, so I'm down here pumping and trying to catch my breath, not only from adrenaline, just from the... The sprint I done, this bull's bugling right over the ridge. And I'm thinking, Lord, I should have got up and jogged with Cameron Haynes at the ATA and all them times we did appearances together, but I didn't because now I'm regretting it because as he's coming in, I had him at 55. And I'll be honest, I was still breathing so hard, I don't know that I could have made the shot. But anyway, Randy was up there calling, had the Montana decoy, and ended up, man, he come right up his cut. We cow called a few times, he come in right to 45 yards and I got a good havoc. I put the dead gum permanent blood tattoo, that G5 tattoo on him, son. If you look right there, look right to the, get your binoculars. You don't yeah, to I don't even have to, get, I see, I see. <laughs> Jason just said, his head's up. I said, no, his head's on his side. He just can't get, he can't hide no better than that, baby. <laughs> He's a giant. Oh, that's bad. Hey, way to play. Good game, awesome, baby. Man. Awesome, <laughs> Woo! When that air hit him though, and that havoc, it got good penetration, I said, it, it was. It appeared to be a little high. He ducked a little bit. Had to have ducked because I had a had a solid hold on him. He was he was 100% between 42 and 45 because I ranged him at 55 and I ranged him again at 40, 47, and he was coming and I and I counted his steps and I figured he took another four or five steps. So he was between 42 and 45. So I put my 40 on his heart or, or right in the middle of him and it ate him up, son. Here we go, loop de loo. Seven by. Oh my. Oh my 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 my. Oh my 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 my. My 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 my. That is what we come for. That is what we come for. He's a seven by six. Seven by six. Oh God, big fronts. He's, he's, he's awesome, unbelievable. I couldn't be any happier. Just an absolute beautiful giant. Look, big old broke third over here from Badland. Come here and grab hold to him, Randy. You got to touch on him a little bit right there. And look at that old Havoc tattoo, son. His, uh, probably the only thing he's weak on is his beams. He ain't super long. Yeah. But he is long enough. He's going to take a long ride back to Georgia. <laughs> is he is absolutely gorgeous. And look at these big old swords. Big sixes. Yeah. Big sixes. Look at the six on that. And you got an extra seven. Realistically, he's, I mean, you're talking, he's going to be right at 350, I believe. 345, 50. That's what I'm talking about, man. Vermejo, open country. This is this is amazing. I mean, there is nothing better than elk hunting. And I tell you what, man, I it's a blessing just to chase these rascals. 
He is awesome, dude. He is absolutely awesome. I mean, look at that. Would you look at it? <sighs> it's humbling to see the massive size of these, the huge body this year. And he, he's just, he's just gorgeous. Big old beautiful fronts. Man, and he just, I mean, there's a fence post where you should sit by and he's down here wadded up, not even 70, 80 yards. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Gives you that old Elvis. I know what Elvis felt like, you know, when he was doing a delay off of my blue straight shoe when he was getting on it, son. That's what I feel like right now. Smoked him. Smoked him. I think we got him. Felt pretty good. Long shot, baby. That thing there looked like it was lighting up the world going down through there, baby. I think I smoked him, but we'll look at the footage and make sure. I thought I hit him pretty solid. Jacob thought he felt pretty good with it, too. I don't know exactly what he is. He's just a nice bull, man, and he comes screaming in. When the arrow hit the bull, man, I felt so good. I thought I made a perfect shot, but this bull was holding his own, man. We got to tracking him, and, you know, he'd went a little ways, and we decided to hold up. Let's go get the reinforcements, and let's regroup, and let's go back at this bull a little later. Hey, you're the best track on earth. Ha! Yeah! The beast is down. That's a big bull out now. We just smoked and we come up here. I mean the whole Brady Bunch, McMillan, what else? Oh, he's, he's at least 3.30. <laughs> you two boys, y'all put the track. I, I, I'm telling you, I done been to Botswana, Zimbabwe 8. I, I ain't seen it. Easy, bud. <laughs> oh, buddy, we got him, Gatlin, and have you with me. Hey, the only thing better is your dad whacked one tonight. Good job, buddy. Made your daddy proud right there.